My name is Luisa Notello. I come from Brazil and I'm a designer, an artist and a researcher. I have finished my studies in 2017 and moved into Berlin where I work right now as an assistant professor in the new media class uh, of the University of the Arts in Berlin. The architecture of collective writing. We started working together three years ago as a collective, just for the record, a Brussels-based collective working on gender representation in cyberspace. We are particularly interested in how the collective making and writing and shaping of history happens. The initial point of question to my project here in Namur was um, around technological singularity. And within the narratives and the stories behind technological singularity, there is always this idea of an explosion, an explosion of intelligence, an explosion of um, a forthcoming event where intelligent machines would emerge. And I wanted to bring this closer to another discourse, which is within digital materialism or new materialism, where we constantly talk about uh, matter and information and how matter and, and meaning come together. What we have been doing during the last two years are more workshop-based events where we took Wikipedia as a case study first and then we realized it was so interesting and really something we could dig up a lot more. We saw that there was such an imbalance on Wikipedia and our worry for that was not necessarily coming from our love for Wikipedia, but the impact of Wikipedia. Like it, it, it is one of the most popular websites on the internet. It's also the most used encyclopedia, but it's not really utilized perhaps in the way that at least we would like it to be. <laughs> So what's interesting in this experiment is that every time that I have a spark, I can transmit information, but that also corrodes the material. So the material is um, intertwined with the information or the, the digital reading or the communication that I have in between these two systems. The specific machines in which I created, they are infrastructures for waiting. So each one of them, they have a loop and a loop of a machine that it's trying to learn how the best way to both extract information out of matter, but also a way of uh, not burning the, the matter all of a sudden. This is kind of a, a paradox that we have because the more information that we gain about something, the more matter we are also losing out of it inside our current technological situation. And this is what I am enacting. There. We were working a lot with, uh, for instance, what, one thing that happens to articles about women is that... We've been taking some things from different places, uh, from Wikipedia, science fiction, from different sorts of places, and we've been scaling them, making them physical in the space to also propose uh, a different setup to approach these things. And by transferring or displacing some elements, we hope to also uh, make an experience that's gonna acknowledge uh, the questions we've been working on and bring a critical uh, view on, uh, on these uh, elements. Even for the prototype, this is a, a starting process and it will develop. What I speculate about is that in a forthcoming future of technological singularity, we might reach a moment where work is completely fully automated. Thus, who work inside these infrastructures are in a state of waiting, waiting for either we reach this moment or waiting for changing uh, or coming back to work in a certain manner. So this is um, the... the critical territory that I'm enacting within this, this installation.